I understand turning to the environment, but if I'm unchanging and the Creator is unchanging, how does it help me turning to the Creator? I have no point in turning to the Creator. Thus it's called from the love of the creatures to the love of the Creator. The environment, that's who you turn to. Now that I read the Zohar, am I supposed to turn to the environment? Of course, through the environment. Through the environment, you turn to the Creator. What? What? Who do you turn to? Do you cry out to the light? It shines. It surrounds you in utter rest. What is the result of you crying? If you're crying without an environment, it means that you're crying from the Rishimo that he awakens in you towards him. So where's the exertion? Where's your work? Nothing zilch. It's not you. Where, where are you here? You, that's only when you can add to your desire a desire of the environment. Then you turn to him, to the Creator. This addition of desire is always aimed at the Creator because that's how it's organized. You can't turn on your own because you on your own is not a Kli. So when you tell us during the lesson or on the blog that we're lacking the demand of the Creator and that we think that we can do it on our own, meaning that actually the problem is that we're not included enough in the environment, then that's what we have to think about, not help from the Creator? Yes, because only as a result of working with others you get that deficiency of the absence of the connection and with that absence of connection you can turn to the Creator where is the light to correct it we found out that we're disconnected from each other there's like ice between us each one of us is suddenly handcuffed stuck can't move towards the other everything but that here I have to give a cry here I can give the cry because I found the place of breaking that the Creator made.